Hi there and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here in my office sitting with Gabe who just launched an exciting new capability on Azure, a new scenario, a new feature uh, called AKS. This is a managed Kubernetes offering on Azure. It takes care of updates. It takes care of scaling. It takes care of a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, it spins them up really, really fast, and we pay for the control plane. So you actually don't have to pay for anything except for the nodes that you're spinning up for your workload. But instead of me talking about it, why don't we have Gabe here in this office show you a little bit of what this looks like, talk a little bit about it, and show you a demo. So Gabe, over to you. Hey, thanks, Corey. Uh, excited to be here, excited to talk about AKS, uh, new managed Kubernetes service from the Azure Containers team. So, you know, the thing about Kubernetes is that it's it's really great to, uh, you know, take over the world by storm with, with containers, but it's not really the easiest thing in the world to operate, especially in production. Um, so it's also going to be a little tricky to get up and running with it. So, uh, you know, those are really the two things that we focused on. We're making a, a Kubernetes experience that was easy to stand up, easy to use, uh, but also easy to operate over the long term. So I want to show you a little bit about what that looks like. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into a demo. So um, here you can see, I'm going to go ahead and use the Azure CLI um, to show, actually list the um, AKS clusters that I've got running. And you can see um, we, we have a cluster deployed right now into East US um, running version 1.77 of Kubernetes. Now, uh, uh, spinning up a cluster takes about uh, somewhere between uh, uh, four to five minutes or so. I'm um, actually pretty quick to, to get up and running. Now, once you have the cluster, um, what you can do is um, AZ AKS install CLI. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and download the kubectl command line client. Um, you may or may not have this client on your machine, but uh, if you don't, this is a really easy way to get it. Um, and the last thing you need to do to just get up and running is azaks get credentials. And if we specify the name of my cluster, which is my Gabber TV handle, and the name of the resource group, which is AKS, What's going to happen is we're going to um, you know go go up to uh, the cloud and we're going to pull down the kube config credentials. Now I can use my kubectl command to you know get the nodes um, and take a look at my cluster, which has been you know up and running for a little while. Now we can see we've got three nodes of AKS uh, running version 1.7.7. This cluster is good to go. We can deploy workloads. We can, uh, you know, uh, uh, get what we need going here. Um, and yeah, uh, it was really easy. Just three steps to get going. So uh, yeah, what'd you think? Pretty impressive, huh? All right, you ready? All right, cool. So uh, the next thing I want to show is, uh, you know, I think the thing that I'm most proud of, which is the upgrade and, and maintenance of, of the cluster. So yeah, I mentioned before, we wanted to make this easy to use, um, which we've done, but we also want to make this easy to operate. So uh, what I have now is uh, a, a new environment, and I'm going to uh, here um, you know, sh show that you know, we're running 1.7.7, but what if I want to modify the version of this? I can do an AZ AKS get versions um, on my Gabber TV environment. And we can see here what versions are available. Whoops, let me output that to table. And we can see here that though we're running on 177, the master and the agent pools have different versions available for me to upgrade to. So I can you know, upgrade to the latest in this case, which is uh, version 1.8.2. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, it's going to be very simple, AZ AKS upgrade, um, name of my cluster, name of my resource group, and specify the target Kubernetes version. Let's go all the way up uh, to the latest, which is 1.8.2. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. now. Um, for the moment, uh, uh, we do take a very, very momentary outage. Uh, this is something that's only in the preview. We're going to be, uh, you know, uh, exposing a very zero downtime upgrade going forwards. But I'll say yes, um, and this can take a little bit. So while we're while we're waiting for this, um, one thing I want to show you is one of the most common questions we get is why is this service and how is this service different than ACS? Right? What's the difference between ACS and AKS? Well, I think the most important thing to consider is that you know AC, AKS is a hosted service. Um, so if we take a look at um, the terminal here, we can see at the top we have um, an ACS cluster, and this ACS cluster includes three master nodes for a highly available configuration. Now. These masters are servers that you have to worry about, right? You gotta patch them, you gotta monitor them, you gotta care and feed for them. Uh, you also have to pay for them. 
And if you take a look at the bottom down here, you can see an ACS, uh, sorry, AKS cluster um, with three nodes. And these nodes are actually, you, you know, um, uh, you know, just the Kubernetes that you want, right? There's running your workloads. Um, it's really just get the value that you're getting out of the service, right? So um, it's really great with with AKS that we don't actually have to, you know, bother with, you know, a, a lot of that, um, you know, master infrastructure and that uh, control plane is hosted for customers. Now, uh, what you also notice is that the upgrade is actually running through here, and we can take a look at this first node, and you can see that um, this node is now ready, uh, running version 182, which is what we asked uh, the cluster to upgrade to, and the second node here is now not ready. This node is currently falling out of the cluster. We're actually draining carefully all the workloads off the cluster, rescheduling them uh, onto the other nodes in the cluster, um, and making sure that we can do the upgrade, uh, but do it in a way that uh, doesn't have any downtime. So. With AKS, you know, we're really proud of this, that you know, we have this automated upgrade capability. Um, the control plane is self-healing. Um, everything is really easy to use, really get up and running, really easy to operate. Easy to operate. Um, and most of all, you don't have to pay for those masters. Uh, so uh, it makes it a lot cheaper for you. So um, yeah, really excited about the service. And uh, yeah, um, Corey, great to be here with you, I must say. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me on Tuesdays with Corey. Thanks, Gabe. That was really fantastic, and especially because I could see it here in person. And thank you so much for enjoying this wonderful Tuesdays with Corey. We've got many more things coming, lots of demos that I'm going to show you here in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. Questions, comments, feedback, ideas, hit me up at hashtag AzureTWC. And with that, have a wonderful Tuesday, and goodbye. See that? Almost Good. forgot. Good. Almost forgot. All right. It's been so long. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I am here today sitting in my office with Gabe Monroe, and we are here to talk about the recent relaunch, relaunch, the recent, okay, we're going to start this over again. <laughs>